What would be the signs that you would look for to see that things were winding down? Well, I look at a lot of figures just in connection with our, our businesses. I, I, uh, I like to get numbers. Ever wondered what you can do with $1,000 in your hand? Well, it has the ability for you to make more money by just investing the money in the right place. Warren Buffett, the famous American business magnate, investor, and philanthropist, made a breakthrough by sharing a few of his investment ideas. This is based on a real incident, as a man followed Warren Buffett's investing strategy as it helped him turn $1,000 into $2 million. Obviously, there's more to the story than that. We'll dig deeper into Buffett's investment style, providing real-world examples of how he's implemented his investment philosophy. Here are a few strategies that may help you to grow your money. 1. Look for a margin of safety Whenever you are about to invest money in a company or stock market, you should have complete knowledge about what the company is and what kind of stocks you are buying. Buffett's investment strategy is founded on the idea that a margin of safety should come first. A margin of safety, put simply, is a feature of an investment that helps guard against investors losing money. There's a $2 margin of safety, for instance, if a stock trades for $10 per share, but the company's assets are actually worth $12 per share. The asset's intrinsic value should keep the company stock price from dropping too much. Always paying less than a company's intrinsic value is Buffett's objective. According to him, a too high purchase price for the stock of an excellent company can undo the effects of a subsequent decade of favorable business developments. 2. Focus on qualities Buffett avoids investing in the garbage. He rarely buys failing companies, regardless of how inexpensive they get. It's one of the best quotations from Warren Buffett that novice investors can remember. It's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. Ever thought about what would happen if you invested your money in a falling company or in the wrong place? Yes, exactly. You will lose your money to a great extent. Focus is a skill that gets better the more a trader uses it. Because there is a wealth of financial data available, traders must be able to focus on the crucial information that will influence their decisions. Some traders concentrate on the assets they trade in order to develop a thorough understanding of a particular industry, market, or currency, which gives them an edge over less specialized traders. Focus and control, more precisely self-control, go hand in hand. A trader must have the ability to restrain their emotions and adhere to a trading strategy and plan. This is crucial when utilizing stop losses or predetermined places to take profits to manage risk. Numerous techniques are created so that the trader consistently profits more on winning transactions while losing a little on losing trades. Did you know? Strategy is abandoned when traders begin to feel strongly about their deals, whether they are profitable or not. 3. Never go behind crowds Another piece of guidance from Buffett that is crucial for beginning investors, particularly in the era of Reddit message boards, is as follows. A stock shouldn't be purchased just because everyone else is. However, you shouldn't constantly try to be the opposite and sell the stocks that everyone else is purchasing. The greatest method to invest is to completely ignore the herd and concentrate on identifying value on your own, as Buffett does. He adds, temperament, not intelligence, is the most crucial characteristic for an investor. You require a temperament that neither enjoys being with or against the crowd greatly. What should you do in the place of the following crowd? You should personally research a different company you are trying to invest in and understand their stocks. 4. Avoid being afraid of market falls and crashes Although buying low and selling high is the obvious objective of stock investing, human nature often drives us to make the opposite decision. We feel motivated to work towards financial independence when we observe all of our peers as successful business people. We also tend to sell our shares as soon as a market meltdown occurs to avoid future price declines. Buffett enjoys stock price declines because they present opportunities to purchase at a bargain. This helps to explain why 2022 has been a very active year for Buffett. Would you panic and flee if you were in your favorite store when you saw all of the prices had been reduced by 20%? Obviously not. Buffett embraces stock reductions and declares, opportunities don't come along very often. Put out the bucket rather than the thimble when it starts to shower gold. 5. Approach your investments with a long-term mindset. Warren Buffett once said, if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. This is one of the most significant statements about investing you can learn from him. 
He doesn't pick stocks only based on his expectation that they would appreciate in value this week, this month, or even this year. Buffett invests in equities because he intends to hold onto the companies for the long run. Although he still regularly sells equities for various reasons, he approaches most of his assets with the intention of holding them for the long term. According to Buffett, a set it and forget it investment like an S&P 500 index fund is one of the finest investments most people can make if they can't adopt a forever mindset with their equities. So next time you think about investing, make sure that you are thinking about a long-term investing plan. Buying a share in a company makes you an owner of it. Thus, if the company makes a profit, you make a profit. If the company loses money, you lose it too. But it is almost sure that if you invest money for a long period of time, then the money you invested will gift you in the gains. Number six, never hesitate to sell if the situation changes. The most important thing you do if you find yourself in a hole is to stop digging, said Warren Buffett when asked about an investment he chose to sell at a loss. While he undoubtedly hopes to own every asset he purchases forever, outlooks do shift. You might be surprised to find that Buffett invested significant money in the mortgage company Freddie Mac, FMC, minus 0.92% a few decades ago. However, a few years ahead of the 2007-2009 financial crisis, he became concerned that the lender's management was beginning to take unwarranted risks with the company's capital and made the decision to sell. Buffett made a wise choice, which was made abundantly evident when the financial crisis struck. Fear is a feeling that everyone has. It is a feeling that one learns through one of three experiences, a personal event from the past, the experiences of family and friends, or a contagious herd feeling. Investors generally freeze or pause and wait as soon as they come across a negative fear or trigger. The capacity of the investors to fight or flight is increased in the meantime by other substances that either aid in the development of necessary defenses or cause them to flee the situation. 7. Master in the field of value investing Value investing, what is it? Value investing is an investment strategy focusing on shares of companies that the market and investors believe are undervalued. When compared to the underlying revenue and earnings from their businesses, the stocks that value investors seek generally appear to be undervalued. Investors anticipate that as more people recognize the genuine underlying worth of the company's core operations, the stock price will increase. Value investing prioritizes purchasing investments at low prices compared to their true worth. A value investor basic objective is to purchase a firm's shares for less than $100, ideally much less. Value investors look for and invest in businesses whose intrinsic values are significantly higher than the suggested enterprise values reflected in the prices at which the business's stocks are traded. Value investors like Warren Buffett anticipate that the market will eventually realize a company's full value, leading to an increase in the stock price of the business and a profit of the value investor. 8. Understand compounding What is compounding in terms of investment? Compounding is just the interest earned on interest, which causes assets and savings to grow significantly over time. Compounding's benefits are best realized by saving and investing effectively as early as possible. Possibly the best illustration of the effectiveness of long-term compounding is Warren Buffett. Buffett benefits from the power of compound interest, dividend reinvestment, and the ability to continuously reinvest the operating cash flow produced by Berkshire's business. How effective is this? Since Buffett took over in 1964, Berkshire has generated an annualized return of 20.1% on average versus 10.5% for the S&P 500. This might not sound all that remarkable until you consider that over time, this has led to a total gain for shareholders of 3,641,613% as opposed to merely 30,209% for the S&P 500. If you liked our video, please don't forget to share and subscribe. Also, share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Until that, see you in the next video.